Hello, I am back today with a tutorial on how to do a Dia de los Muertos mani. I'm going to start by putting down the base coat for my decal. I use a Cutica top coat from Zoya. I find that I get pretty good results with my decals with that. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and apply um, Morgan Taylor all tangoed up to all of my nails except for one and uh, on my accent nail I'm going to use um, Sally Hansen and on my accent nail I'm going to put Sally Hansen get mod. Super high speed swatching so I'm doing all except for one accent nail in the red. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, Dixie Plate DP09 and I want to get as much of this lady's gorgeous face here as I can. Um, so I heard a little rumor from my friend Jen on Instagram that because of the way this Lux style of stamper pulls the stamper head, you can sort of naturally shrink down your images by stamping and then pulling it out of the holder. So we are going to go ahead and test that out and see how that works. Messy Mansion Carbon. great image so let's pull it on out here and sure enough it does shrink it down a little bit so all right let's check it out we are gonna stamp it right on to the decal there so I am just going to give a little pop of red to her lips here and I'm gonna give a little pop of red to her flower over here pop of red to her earring right there a little tiny bit okay so while I'm waiting for that to dry I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the other nails I'm gonna stamp with this image right here these beautiful roses all right let me get in here a little closer so you can see that all right so the roses are all stamped and ready to go So I'm going to trim a little bit, then I'm going to apply a thin layer of top coat so it'll adhere. I'm going to give that a second to dry because we want it to adhere and not just totally smear, so we want it not wet but tacky. And I want her looking up, being gorgeous. I gently press it down to smooth it out and get all the bubbles and stuff out. I like to use, I like to get in here a little bit with my dotting tool. And then look at that, she's going to be beautiful. All right, now I'm going to apply another layer of top coat over her. Now the, the side I stamped is down, but I'm still going to just do a quick brush so that I don't smear because we don't want to get smears in there. And then I'm actually on this one, I'm going to go back and probably do another layer of top coat once this dries. That way I can make sure I get good coverage that's even, but that it doesn't smear anything. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat the rest. All right, here is the final look. Oh, she is so hot, and I love those roses. And I will insert a still picture right here. And I will link everything down below, and thanks for watching.